Hello guys, I thought this was worth a mention. The king is dead. How did he die, you ask? Well, um, he was slain by the Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. Because reason. Okay guys, we've got ourselves another bit of a conflict. Or two, actually. The Dornish Martyrs have risen for that Baratheon's claim on the Stormlands again, and Tarth has joined them, which is kind of stupid because they're married to my, uh... He's married to my daughter, and his kids are my grandsons, so it's a bit weird. And, uh, which I'm quite worried might come to some agreement, um... <laughs> the Lord of the Marshes, who has risen against us, is tutoring my grandson and my son's heir, so... Can he, like, arrest him or something? I'm not sure, but... We're gonna go south and kill them immediately in order to avoid just that. Or at least, we will. We'll focus on removing them so that we can get our kid back, or at least make him safe. The other conflict is uh, the free city of Thingy. Uh, for West Point, yeah. The Iron Throne does have another war. Uh, defending against the Sea Lord of Bravos in his claim for the Iron Throne, which was very weird. Okay, um, my force is going to arrive on the 19th of November before, yeah. yeah my forces arrive on the 19th of November before the enemy forces arrive. Which will give us the defensive bonus. Assuming that they come and attack. Of which they will. Hm. The Stormlands went to deal with them immediately, apparently. If we arrive faster, we'll actually get into the fight. Thank you. Arrived at like the last second. Hmm, I forgot about those guys. Go straight back to over the black heart. Those are gonna retreat by the time we arrive. We should probably wrap up this conflict relatively quickly because the Sea Lord of Bravos is winning in his claim to the Iron Throne. <laughs> okay. This may be like the first time ever this kind of thing's happened. We'll almost defeat that. But... Okay, okay the, the West is rallying to their side now. Thing is, that's a very large army of Brabus troops. Yeah, we're dealing with those guys in Mir. Now, uh, the Iron Front does have a large army there in the Dreadfort. But they've lost 40% in favour of the enemy, so... Why are we going over there? That makes very little to no sense. I'm going to quick save, though. Uh, an 
I can educate Lucas. Who's not got the best of trait. <laughs> but he's my blood. So I'll look after the kid. They're winning there, but then another 10k is going to show up and kick their ass. And I can't offer to join the war in order to help them. The Blackfires may actually very well lose the Iron Throne to the Sea Lords of Bravos. <laughs> the fucking Reach! It's now joined the Bravos guys. Oh, good lord, this is just hilarious. Yep, unless the Iron Throne pulls some kind of miracle out from whence their ass, um, they're gonna win. Meanwhile, the Stormlands are doing basically nothing. <clears throat> and they're just standing in Maiden Pool like lemmings. They're just sitting there waiting for the ship. I'm getting back the fucking black heart because this is just going to the hell. The Iron Throne is doomed. <laughs> to the fucking Sea Lords of Bravos. Ah! My daughter. She died, but at least she gave Rainhouse an heir, I suppose. Oh, yeah, I got another kid, uh, Agor. Daenerys. Who keeps dying? Yeah, Daenerys died of grayscale, and she was married to the tutor of Tarth. But again, she had an heir as well. That's fine. He's married to Dondarrion. And my other daughter married. Good lord. I am just staying the fuck out of this. But Asteril has seen the future and it is in waiver. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. What happened? What happened? The Iron Throne was getting its ass kicked. And then one moment, it was gone. Uh, I, th I think the guy with Claim. <laughs> I think the guy with Claim, which was this guy, died comatose. Someone managed to smack him over the head in battle or something. And died perhaps okay so the iron throne might have just been saved by dumb luck and the game's stupid mechanic because in reality the forces that have just wiped out the entire army and you know had the reach for them as well they wouldn't have just left the invasion and given up when they were about to win just because their guy died that's not how it would work realistically we should be under the rule of the bravo the bravo sea right now not that I'm complaining. But though that would have been funner to play as. Yes. So I'm a, I'm a little disappointed. Admittedly, I'm a little disappointed. I was I was kind of looking forward to uh, put, trying to put the Blackfires back on the throne. Or maybe just declaring independence, preferably. I don't know. We are actually over on the... Uh, 
Yeah, we are over in this place attacking these guys. So Storm Lords aren't doing nothing, though they could have easily won the war by taking these guys out. One thing I'd like to mention, um, why have you come here? Alright, you. You are apparently screwing someone else, are you? Ooh, no, you're lezzling it along with the other chick. Okay, that's, that's cool. And in the doing, you, you... These girls have defied the laws of nature? Everything? Just, they've just defied laws and somehow created a child? Uh-huh. There's some dark magic going on. No, <laughs> going on there. Hot, hideously dark magic. What the fuck are the Conlingtons doing? Everyone seems to be like fighting for this moron's claim. Even though he only has a weak claim. And everyone dies every time he fucking does anything. Well, we'll deal with the uh, Conningtons while the rest of the Storm Lords are off doing whatever the fuck it is they're doing. Well, apparently I'm already over in... Uh, across in Essos, so... It'll just be my forces laying siege to Griffin's Roost for now, I'm afraid. Thanks for the gold, love. Of which I have a lot. <laughs> Should probably spend some of it. I have been doing that. Very slowly makes Summer Hall better. There's Duran Bithersteel. I noticed as well, Carla's got the same blonde hair as her brother did. Or well, she did before she died. Mild Storm. He's popping out bastards, ain't he? At least he's got a trueborn kid. In theory. She ain't screwing no one else, so I assume it is. Might create a cadet branch, possibly. Who knows? Make it sweet steel or something. <laughs> or maybe bitter something else. have not had a good stretch of luck lately. Well, with that war over and done with, the, uh, 
the Storm Lords will return. Not that matters too much. I've taken their capital, so. There you go, we won that. Get my boys back home. And we've another war on our hands. No idea what the Stormlands is going to do about that. I was about to say well, we'll end it and then see what else pops up, but uh, we've already got another war apparently. See what side the Stormlords join. My kid can join us as well. Get some action in. The Riverlands has taken over all of the fucking good lord. They're going to be a pain in the ass. I thought he was dead there for a second. <laughs> okay, what's this? The attackers are the Reach. It says that the defenders are the Stormlands, which it's not. But the Reach is apparently... The, uh, the Riverlands are apparently on our side. Which we can be grateful for, I suppose, since they control pretty much the most land in Westeros right now. We'll go see Stone Dance. I have no idea what the Iron Throne is doing in this moment, but we're taking this. There's no longer participant in the war against the tyranny. Blah, 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 blah. What in the Sam hell are we doing? Is that the right expression? I don't know. Let's leave Liege Loyalists for a second. Yeah, I'd much rather help out uh, the Iron Throne than help my idiotic fucking wife deal with all this. I think everyone's military power has kind of beaten the crap out of ever since the Bravosi fucking attacked us. Actually, probably the only ones that didn't probably have military power left is uh, Dawn and the Reach. So it isn't surprising that they've got so many troops and whatnot. Although, I do wonder where they're going with those forces. There you go, Stone Dance has fallen and we are done. The Reach is ours and they've released him from jail. Really? It's like twice in a two times in a row that um Two times in a row that the Reach has risen up against the Iron Throne. And once almost completely crushing the Iron Throne and being saved by literally the skin of their two fucking teeth and bad game mechanics. <laughs> what are these guys fighting over? Where did my troops go? Oh, no, no. The 
there are Dornish in my home. I will not stand for this. I'm pretty sure that my character, this Lord, whatever the fuck, uh, Jacelyn? Whatever. It kind of sounds like a girl's name, if you ask me, but there you go. It kind of seems like he has not put his sword down since he's, uh, since his father died. Even before that, actually. Really, a year goes by when he doesn't have to fight somebody. <laughs> I got a night song, see if I can entice any idiots to attack me. If he loses that, I assume they cut, they've cut off his junk. Damn. If he loses that, I assume that uh, my grandson inherits. Maybe. Not sure. Hm. The Iron Throne has joined the war alongside the Queen. The second war against the tyranny of King Aegon of good fucking lord. They're really trying to get rid of this. The Riverlands are attacking him. The Reach is attacking him. Dusk and Dale, Stone Dawn, Stone Keep. He's incapable, which is why. Unfortunately, he's called himself into this, so I can't even offer to uh, join him. We, meanwhile, will go up to Grandview. I may disband, let my troops... Uh, ...refurbish themselves. Uh, He must have gotten a uh, seriously wounded in battle or some point, on. which just leaves his wife to be queen afterwards. At which point the Blackfire line will end. Well, it won't end. There are others that could take it up. I think. I mean, if you go back, they always had siblings. Yeah, the Lords of the North, who are Blackfires once that idiotic woman dies. Yeah, you go over there and deal with those already. Aegon is winning, since the uh, the Westerlands have joined him, I guess. But at the same time, the Riverlands is all of this. But a lot of the Vale is not too happy over the, over the Tullys controlling them, I suppose. The Queen is imprisoned. 
If they execute the queen, that just leaves an incapable king and chaos running throughout Westeros. Yeah, support the throne. Although the war's almost done, we shall, as bitter steels, continue to be loyal to the Blackfires. While my wife, the useless bitch, sits in Storm's End doing fuck all. Because she is, as I said, a useless bitch. Can't even keep her own fucking dudes in line that she's screwing, because I'm pretty sure he joined the thing to overthrow her. Although, I think she's stopped putting out, and that is probably why now they are fighting each other. <laughs> ah, you don't get this kind of entertainment with other games, I tell you. for November, and yeah, they're going to get away. Uh, you want me to find you a wife when you're 50? I don't particularly think that's going to happen, mate. Yeah, I was hoping you'd like, you, you'd go to the wall or something. Yeah, you're not going to be around for me to make that promise. And we will go over here to kill these 300 Reachmen. Probably set a dam, Commander. Too late. First of January, yeah, they're gonna get away. Go back to Holy Hall, and you can skip right over to Side of Hall. What's the Stormlands doing? Claim on Finger Magic Keep. Ah, oh, that place. Getting more of the uh, more of the Stormlands, I suppose. Part of me is kind of hoping the old guy, my character, who's 53, kind of have like a, a final heroic death in battle defending the throne, but nah, apparently not. Well, the war against the Reach is done. The second war against the tyranny of King Aegon. It's not really. He's not got a tyranny. The guy's just incapable and useless. <laughs> but yet we stand behind him. Defiant to the last. What the hell happened? Remember what I was saying like five fucking seconds ago about him being useless? The guy blinds him and then lets him go. He is my nephew as well. But he, he blinded him and then just let him leave. <laughs> Genius that he is. Oh well. The longer that holds up, 
we'll have that in no time, I bet. And he's leading battles blind. I've got to give the guy credit for that. And King Aegon has died comatosed in his bed. I wonder if I can marry to my son. I get matrimonial. Yeah. There you go. My son is the king of the Iron Throne. The kids will be uh, Blackfires, but officially they'll... Uh... Yeah, sweet. Which will give us complete ties to the Iron Throne once I become my Lord Paramount. And gives the realm a strong king. And not strong, he's a dutiful, he's a knight, skilled, just, patient, charitable, content. Not a bad king compared to the previous one, I suppose. And it continues the Blackfire line via the Blackfire bitch, as it were. Otherwise, her cousin inherits, which wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> this is a formidable fighter, but is insane. Maybe she just thinks she's a formidable fighter and she's actually just completely batshit crazy. <laughs> my, uh, my grandson has inherited the Targaryen traits. Alright, guys. Uh, we'll do what we do. Well, actually, I, I say that. I have something uh, like a war will pop up in the next two fucking seconds and then ending the recording will be worthless. <laughs> My grandson is marrying my bastard granddaughter. Okay. It's not the worst of things. Actually, it gives us an alliance with Tarf. A secure one that we already have. It's a little incesty for my liking, but okay. What's the Reach doing? Busy fighting among themselves because no one's too happy about the Tullys ruling everyone. Okay, looks like we've got a period of peace now. Uh, we'll do what we did last time. Stop recording and jump ahead to some action and hopefully we get something as cool as that again.